The Caldwell ISD School Board meeting just wrapping up. Intentions were high with parents and the community. The big issue, though, how the district has handled an alleged attack between volleyball players on a team bus back in September. Now, 25 News reporter Austin Walker was in town all day long, again pressing for answers, and he has more from tonight's meeting. The small town of Caldwell is certainly divided tonight. Some took the mic saying there needs to be stronger consequences for the four girls accused of stripping their teammate in the back of a school bus, while others are advocating for the four girls, saying that this has turned into a metaphorical witch hunt. In a room packed to capacity, the Caldwell community voicing what they believe the school district should be doing when it comes to consequences. We are upset because right now it looks like Caldwell ISD does not know the difference between right and wrong. Some say this is black and white, right versus wrong. If you continue to act like this doesn't exist, then we know that you're a coward, so not wanting to expel the girl because of her name. Others say the talk regarding right or wrong is out of hand. With your witch hunt, stop it. Nobody deserves these. Kim Sedila, mother of Katie Hartman, one of the four girls accused of stripping her teammates clothes off, exposing her genitals, took the mic, defending her daughter and the other three girls. The witch hunt that has occurred is something to be ashamed of. She says after the alleged incident became public, the four are now targets, hearing comments on social media and even direct death threats. Sedila states what is in the police report doesn't match what happened. My daughter begged for video that day from that school bus. It would have cleared us. In a previous report by 25 News, the district tells us they did not have cameras on the bus, but that has now changed. She also adds her daughter took a polygraph and passed with no gray area. There was zero signs of deception from my daughter's polygraph, but these are the big ones. Was there nudity or exposed body parts? She said no, and she was telling the truth. Did you intend to get her naked? And my daughter said no, and she was telling the truth. Did you receive or plan to receive sexual gratification by doing this? And my daughter said no, and she was telling the truth. Many of the pointed remarks from community members didn't concern what police say happened, but rather how the district handled it all. We are upset because no action was taken against those four coaches until after the story came out in the media. Some are even calling for the resignation of those staff. We first asked for Ms. Goff's resignation, the vice principal of the high school. We don't believe that she can be biased in this situation because she is friends with the families. We also ask why Mr. Escalante is still teaching at our high school when he was one of the teachers on the bus when the incident occurred. We also ask for Mr. Goodman to resign from his position as a board member as CISD. Mark Goodman's daughter, Sophie Goodman, is another one of the four now facing an indecency with a child charge. Before a closed session, we tried to talk to Goodman. Board member Goodman, do you want to comment on the act of resignation possibly? He wouldn't answer. Some say not answering questions seems to be a trend for the district. We are upset because we keep hearing no comment. However, the school remained silent when this incident occurred. For over a week, 25 News has tried to talk to anyone, calling, emailing, showing up in person, but nothing. We asked the superintendent about that before the closed session. And so did any of those phone calls or emails come through at all? Yes. They did? They came through. Gotcha. Yeah. So there's no comment on that then? They came through. I just haven't got an opportunity to respond. <laughs> yeah. Tonight, while tensions remain high on how to move forward, one woman simply says, do it with grace. To fight the fight that you have to fight but do it in a respectful manner. Hartman's mother also adds the four girls did serve time in DEAP or alternative schooling, but members of the community say it was not the full 30 days as sanctioned by the Texas Penal Code 15.27. We asked the district to confirm this and they did not comment. Reporting tonight in Caldwell, Austin Walker, 25 News.